40 miles west of Madison in Spring Green, Wisconsin, is an unusual music venue, a barn turned concert hall. If you came to one of the barn's 55 shows this summer, you'd met the people responsible for the barn's surprising name, owners Chris and Martha Staples. I'm Chris, and this is Martha, and uh, we are the shitty barn. Martha and I bought the space for furthermore beer to build a brewery, which didn't happen as we purchased the space just before the economy tanked in 2008. And uh, so we were just using the space for promotional events and art and stuff and music and what have you. And we just sort of came to realize that uh, it had its own life and, and that we should get out of its way and let it be what it wanted to be, which was a venue for people to congregate, and have fun, and listen to music. Around this dilapidated barn has risen a community. As Chris and Martha Staples recover from a misfired investment during the recession, their repurposed building and the music it brings to the area draw a twice-weekly crowd. It's great and it's very welcoming and everybody is warm and open and the music's good. You can see the stars and there's a fire. It turns out being a nice escape. I think there's a sense of the barn as common heritage and therefore a place for us all to engage in community. People feel very warm and welcome at the Shitty Barn because of the community, community of people that own and run it. I guess we've, we've started to hear a lot of conversations among friends who will reference Chris and Martha as um, people who, like, they aspire to create something similar. So the Shitty Barn is a place for people, well, it's, it's a dilapidated structure, so it's not an elite structure. Uh, it, is a place, therefore, where we come and celebrate our common humanity of not elite people, but of common people who depend upon the land and depend upon each other. 